If you're so good at impersonating or or doing a bit off of some Korean sh or Korean accent that people don't even know if you're Korean or not, yeah. <laughs> you, you did That's your research. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't even be offended. Welcome back to another highly important episode of Careful Boys. Today we are lucky enough to have with us Mr. Del Fountain. Oh wow! Oh, wow! Thanks for having me, guys. When was the last time you were here? I was here, I want to say five years, maybe? Pre-pandemic? What do you think? It's got to be pre-pandemic. It was pre-pandemic, right? Damn. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Five years, dude. It feels like a long time since you've been here, but then I think social media also moves fast, so it also feels like not that long, but long ago. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I, I don't know. It's hard to gauge the time during the pandemic years, but yeah. it, last time I was here, yeah, it was... The, um, I mean, it's still dudes, you know? <laughs> Tight. <laughs> You're here during It's still a gang of dudes uh, surrounded. <laughs> Nothing really changed. Yeah. 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 I feel like 2020 to 2023 felt the same. One year. It was all just one year for one you? one year for me. Okay. That's true, because it kept getting one-upped. And then like you're like, oh, it can't get crazier. Then they fucking like invade Ukraine and shit. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, dude, it can't get crazier. And I think it's still getting crazy. Yeah. <laughs> is it pretty crazy right now? 2024 is pretty crazy too. It's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. and, and it's an election year, so. It was tight oh, like true. not having deadlines or not giving a fuck about deadlines for a while. Yeah. Like when all this shit like started shutting down yeah. in my head, I was like, oh damn, like this thing I got to put out this time, like that doesn't even matter anymore, you know? Because oh, I would yeah. fantasize about those moments back in the day. Like, I'd be like, oh, damn, if there was a post-apocalyptic sh**. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so tight. They don't have to turn this thing in next week, you know? Like, yeah. I would think, like, it would just be so small, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. to be honest, the first, like, couple months of lockdown when, like, nobody really knew what was going on was honestly the sickest time. time. I know, I feel bad saying it was fun. When was, was that? Fun. When was that? Is that <laughs> April or March? March? Yeah. As like, soon as everything locked down. Like, school like everybody, yeah. It, it, it was literally just like a school's out thing. You know, suddenly you have to stay at home with your homie or your partner or whatever. And yeah. then it's like people are just picking up new skills and shit or like yeah. binging Netflix. Everybody was watching Tiger King. Yeah. I was alone for 60 Tiger. days. But at the time, everybody was saying like a month, three weeks tops. I know. It was and then it'll blow like over. Shit. Yeah. And then that's when we're like, oh shit, this is like really, <laughs> this is really happening. The only thing I didn't like was like getting groceries delivered and needing to fucking wipe shit down and stuff like that yeah. or whatever, you know? I didn't wipe nothing down. I just <laughs> went and dived right into the groceries. Yeah. <laughs> when did you, when did you start uh, Fun With Dumb, your podcast? It's been about five years now. Oh, okay. It's been a long time. I mean, I just really just did it for fun. I didn't get any business thing together. I just no. liked putting stuff out or talking, you know? Like, I feel like podcasts are pretty easy. Like, it's like the easiest form of things, yeah. you know, content to It do. honestly yeah. is. I mean, you, I mean, obviously, you know, we require all this camera work, editing, all those things. You do need a team, but as far as, as a creative, doing a podcast is like one of the yeah. most entry level creative it, yeah, things you can do. It feels like it feels like right in your wheelhouse too cuz you're like verbally gifted. I had to say no. <laughs> I just it's like the older you get is funner to do a podcast cuz you don't you like complaining about stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's a fun time. <laughs> the old Asian man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's true, An yeah. old Asian man could have done podcasting years ago. Oh yeah, dude. They would have killed it. We're on know? our way to being that. <laughs> I mean, we are that. Yeah, but uh we're just waiting it out. You ever done a full podcast where the whole thing is rhyming? <laughs> no. Would that be a crazy challenge? No, because I'm going to feel like I'm Lin-Manuel, like, uh, <laughs> like a, you know, it's a Hamilton podcast, like, no. Nah. <laughs> but you were on that hella early, because I even remember outside of the YouTube Center one time doing the, like, hot box in your car. Oh, yeah, that's like one of the original what? podcasts. Had, I mean, it, that was more like an interview series, but I think, like, doing something out of the car, I was really early on, because you saw a lot of people doing, like, Seinfeld doing comedians in cars yeah, and getting coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had uh, James Corden, the karaoke uh, thing, you yeah. know, but that was like before both of those, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you guys find another car interview show before mine, let me know, but yeah. my thing was early. Nice. Might be the first. And they weren't hot boxing. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's probably safer, <laughs> you know? That's why I couldn't get no brand deals. So now we're not gonna endorse this. You guys are just doing drugs in the car. <laughs> so going back, when was the first time that you three met? Joe and Bart and Dump. When did you guys first meet? God damn. It's been How a long time. time. Dude, now you're like asking me questions on the test that I wasn't prepared for. Yeah. <laughs> I think it might have been through Wax. 
It was through wax. Right? And, and then it, I, I could have sworn it was on at a show or something like that. And then we went to a wax show or, or something. It must have been a, almost almost 15 years, I would say, that we've met. Oh, the rapper. Yeah. You talking about? Well, yeah. I met oh. him online because someone else introduced me online first. <laughs> was it Danny? Might have been even. I, I remember weird. watching his stuff before. Yeah, because I remember someone yeah. going, yo, look at this guy, he's fucking killing it at all the battle raps. Yeah, everybody was watching yeah. your and battles. Then, and then Korean History Channel was like, like that was my favorite shit. Because oh, you actually liked it? I loved it, bro. I love because I What got, size are you living? You gotta co-sign, yeah, yeah, yeah. co yeah, yeah. dude. No, I, I co-signed the show yeah. because yeah. it's like if if you're so good at impersonating or or doing a bit off of some Korean shit or Korean accent that people don't even know if you're Korean or not. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you did That's your true. research. That's you true. know what I mean? You can't even be offended. You can't be offended. That was like, you know, like you know Lil Sherry, right? I mean, Sh Sherry Cola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, remember Lil Tasty? Yeah. Do you remember the character that she did? Mm hmm. She did the character on where she did the sketch where she wore like a Laker jersey. I don't remember, but she, she like, kills at everything she does. <laughs> yeah, she did this yeah. character called Lil Tasty, and it was really funny, these bits that she would do. And I thought that was her. So when I like like said like yeah let's link up let's meet yeah, yeah. and she came and she was just like herself like a regular oh. person I was thrown off because that's how good she played the bit mm. you know what I'm saying yeah. and I think when I saw Korean History Channel it was the same thing where I was like I can't tell what ethnic <laughs> background these fools are and I know you guys did that shit forever yeah. for where you guys wouldn't reveal that shit yeah. for and that was so frustrating because I I would get to know y'all and I would still like try to guess every time I meet you guys up. Yeah. Um, but that's how good that bit was, man. I still think oh, okay. you guys have Dang. some of the best Korean Ajishi impersonation of all time. And I'm talking that <laughs> over Bobby, Margaret Cho, you know, like some greats. Thank you. You Damn. know what I mean? I, 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 for real. Cool. It came yeah, from yeah, hours of being you. lectured by Ajishis. <laughs> <laughs> you were, we would go to our buddy's house and their uncles or whatever, just be like, you know, Japanese is a so bad <laughs> and i'm like i'm japanese american i don't know <laughs> you're still responsible bro. but you don't just get wasted and i'm just like fuck dude all right i'm sorry the best part about how you guys play it up is that stuff where you guys talk like talk shit about other asian cultures <laughs> is the best part of that that impression well, you, you know there's accuracy with that yeah, like hurry korea number one like that's that's the best part of that shit you know <laughs> There was a, uh, a sketch that you did with Joe back in the day where he's trying to get you to wear a shirt. Oh yeah, that was so... How did that even start? Like, that was Bart's idea! I was yeah, like, but like, is... but like, how did you pitch that to him and how did you agree to do that? So I think I barely wanted to do it, to be honest. <laughs> Bart thought it would be hilarious. Bart is like the ultimate troll, dude. He thought it was... Okay, about. I remember speci specifically, because I was like, this sounds crazy, but if we could do this, I'm dying in tears if we can. And he's all like, what we gotta do is we gotta come out with merch, cause we gotta find a way to pay for these kids. <laughs> so, so we had all these different merch ideas, right? Like we, I mean, we still do today. We gotta pay for these fucking videos. And then um, <laughs> he had the he still never figured it out <laughs> to come up with a Korea number one t-shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the soccer game was coming up. Oh, oh so remember when they were doing that out here and yeah. then they did the whole pie ting thing and all that so we're like what this would be sick if we could like fucking sell this and then like we yeah. could support you know the home team what's well, not home team but we know LA's gonna represent for Korea right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially in K-Town right yeah I felt like it was one of those things like Mexico was going for Mexico but all of Asian America was going for like Korea yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so to line that up we wanted to do um, like we just wanted to get all of our friends who were Korean and force them to have the shirt on. <laughs> That's very specific target yeah. market. <laughs> Non-Koreans were just banking off of the Koreans to make money. <laughs> so when that was on paper, if it was ever on paper, the idea. So for those of you who they were probably on paper, sketch. we wrote all okay. ours. So what was it like? Because I know, like in the video, it's Joe is like some outreach, like Korean pride activist, and he's trying to get. Random Koreans to put that shirt on. I'm mad because the kids today 
aren't as like they aren't down for it the way that I am. That's that was the that down was for what? like, the, like oh, down for, for the, the culture. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 like okay. you know how like old people always think that the younger ones don't have the pride. Yeah. Like in all Asian cultures. Yeah, yeah. Right? Of, course, yeah. of course. So that's yeah. just kind of the same play of like you're not as into it as like like where's yeah. your pride? Wait, could I ask you guys something about the Korean History Channel thing? Yeah. Uh, like. First, it originally was presented as like some kind of news show, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but where did the news part come into play? <laughs> you know, like how did why, why was it presented in that way? Where yeah, like, why do we call it that? I think because we were like journalists, you need to but the we used to copy. Remember, um, was it like from like a TV, like seeing Channel 18? Or yes, yeah, it, was, it, was, okay, it was, it was, it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was like a public access like news yeah. show or yes. something. Yeah. Yes, so funny. And it's like we. We gotta give you guys the updates because you guys yeah. don't know what's going on. So, so we wanted to use that as a way to like lecture the public. I, I think that was the best. So funny. I, I think that's why I loved it because you got because I grew up on Korean news. You know, like my parents would always have it on. You'd have the the city in the back. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate the Korean news. Can I come home? I want, want to watch cartoons. Yeah. My, my parents have Korean news on. I'm like, this shit is the most bo It's like way more boring than regular news. It's like <laughs> Dude, the fact that you guys filmed that one episode in a Vietnamese news channel yeah, is even better. Yeah, our buddy was uh, working for some local Vietnamese like station and OC and then he goes man we can make this professional and when we walked into the studio the funny shit is it looks janky as hell but when I walked in I was like we're in a real fucking movie studio we're in the dude. big time like we made it you know <laughs> That boy had like cameras on tripods and a fucking soundboard, and we're like, this is this is this is sick. For so, 2008 or nine or that's was that was crazy though. To have a set like that is pretty cool. To even like have yeah. someone put a lav on you, you're like, oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout outs to my mom. Shout outs to my mom. <laughs> they like the Vietnamese Vietnamese production crew. Were they like, what the fuck is going on? Here? I don't even think we were up like allowed to like film so. there. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's all the down low, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a weekend. There was a Vietnamese protest outside. We just came in and then we just started just shooting. No one was in there. Because everyone's like 60, right? They're like old school, like like TV production. And then there was just a young, like 28 year old, like assistant director. So, yeah, so he would just bring in like, I think they probably thought they're his friends or whatever. Yeah. They didn't know what we were doing, but they were just cool with it. They're like, oh yeah, just go do whatever. Dude, the enemy's <laughs> people are the shit. Oh, that That's shit tight. so yeah. fucking <laughs> funny. And the Korean dinosaurs or whatever you guys talking about, that shit was so funny. Damn, I don't know where the fuck all those ideas came from, but it, it's almost like I forgot. And then like when you bring it up and we, we recently saw the videos to promote the new shirt, I was like, Oh fuck, that's crazy. We did that. <laughs> that was my favorite shit from y'all still, I think. Really? It's just so something about it, like <laughs> it's so over the top, like mad TV territory, you know? Like yeah, it's it just is, so yeah. good. I feel like those characters were more believable than the uncle characters. Yeah, because those guys those guys are wild as fuck. Look at that. They, they, they don't even <laughs> exist in you real life. That's a joke. Really yeah. That's you know that's a joke. <laughs> yeah, you know that's a joke. Yeah, th th these characters were something else. And plus man. you were you were pretty good straight man as this character too. Like yeah. you weren't as wild. Yeah. So it was like this guy might actually be Korean. <laughs> Oh, and the hair was so believable yeah. too. Yeah, it was just so yeah. The hair is pretty believable, man. <laughs> so funny, so funny. What's crazy is we were trying to be Ajishis in that video. We're Ajishis now, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we're trying to be 40 like in that 40, video. Yeah. We're 40 now, which is fucking <laughs> yeah, crazy. I, I, I used to, in That's my funny. songs and battle raps, used to make fun of the opponent for pushing 40. I'm like, you're pushing 40. <laughs> and now I'm pushing 40. <laughs> I used to have it in my lyrics, you know, like, I'm like, I'm smoking blunts and drinking 40s while you're pushing 40. Yeah, now yeah. I'm pushing 40. It's like, it's so funny you're thinking like, about it. That's so that. crazy. Yeah. Did you guys ever have any other sketches that you wanted to pitch to him? But you were like, he's not gonna do it. <laughs> Dunn was always down. Way. Yeah, he was. Dunn was down yeah. with anything. I think there was one that involved, every time it involved rap and stuff like that. I remember we did the characters while you were promoting the uh, uh, 
mixtape you did with oh, Matt yeah. Wax. And I remember when we were um, interviewing you, we had to keep like redoing the take because you guys kept laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're just like, just, just stop laughing. And then we had the giggles for like five minutes straight. <laughs> yeah, I think I asked, I hit you guys up about that. I, I asked you guys if you guys would do this thing for a promo thing where oh. they would interview our little collab project and shit because it was so funny, man. I think during the early YouTube days, there was like almost no one said no, really. Because even though we did that making fun of suicide, and then you were just down oh, to be yeah. in it. Yeah. Like people were just like, oh, let's do it. <laughs> like, no way. Yeah. Oh, I just met these dudes too, and I was like, yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't even remember. What was that about? Was like everyone took pills to it die was, together or something? <laughs> the way that you guys wrote it, it was like a sketch where uh, you take this pill if you want to like kill, kill yourself, and you just get really happy, and then you just die. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you explained it to me when I got just there. No prep. Just, yeah. yeah, we're just gonna so shoot it. So then they're like, alright, take this pill and then just like laugh like crazy and then just die. <laughs> just you know what's kind of tight about our process? Like me and Joe would have crazy ass ideas, but then since we don't have we don't have the hard job of pitching it. Mm -hmm. You know, we write it. And then we have our like table read or whatever, and then all right, Gio, go produce it. <laughs> she has to go and explain it to people, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Yeah, because I don't know how I would pitch that to make people want to do stuff like that. It was fun because it was like me, Steve, and then um, Arika Sato. Just and dying. All, and all three of us were like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> And then I think after that, you guys are like, oh, people got kind of mad about that sketch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, what, what are some of the moments that you guys almost got full on canceled? Like, was that a moment mm. that people, you said people got mad? I think there was a, there's quite a bit. <laughs> one of them that I was like, this was, <laughs> there was this one that I was like, what the fuck, this was crazy. I didn't see this one coming. Remember we did the music video for the name brand shirt? Yeah. So I had this character called Reckless Necklace. Yeah. And I think everyone just hated his voice. Yeah, yeah. And then it was just all like, fuck, fuck this guy's voice. It was just, and we had to, t I think we had to take it down because the voice was so bad. His voice? Wow, what was his voice yeah, like? Yeah, do, do the voice, do the voice. He sounded like a pimp. I think like, he was like, like he laughed like, <laughs> Like yeah, dude. Yeah, bro, they were Because right. I was trying to make fun of all the all those rappers that would laugh after everything they would say. Oh, yeah. like, so they would like say a bar. <laughs> You're like OG Loke. <laughs> oh, I, I honestly think some people get more canceled just when they're not likable. You know? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, like, it's it's not just the yeah. content yeah. they put out, but like some people just may look cancelable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that guy looks like he jacks off in public. You know, like he just yeah, looks so like it. I'm just saying, Harvey Weinstein, like before he did oh, his yeah. shit, he looks yeah. like, okay, this dude did something wrong. Yeah. He yeah. looks like an ogre. He looks guilty. Yeah. He looks guilty. Yeah. Yeah. They made him look like a fucking, what's it called, an orc or whatever in Lord yeah. of the Rings. They made an orc after him. I mean, do you guys judge people by their attractiveness because I do absolutely yeah, yeah. I, I'm like dude but no no not 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 in a it's not like you judge their character by their attractiveness you just judge their attractiveness because you, it's a human condition but, but can, they, something can they get with away that? with more though the, it, scientifically it's been proven but you can also judge attractiveness by character where some people just have a charm yeah you know what I mean that's true too. Yeah, it works the other way though. They may not be a good photo, but they're a nice video. I've seen David touch more titties than any other dude in the world. What? No David so? What do you what does that mean? Like, because he's so explain. like he's so he's so, he's so no, he's so like brother. He's so brother, like he could just be like <laughs> And then chicks don't even give a fuck. What? Chicks! Yeah. What? He's friend zoned. This is a this is a dangerous territory. Yeah. <laughs> but I like it! 2010 <laughs> No Bart. Basically, <laughs> Bart is saying he's a non-threatening gay best friend. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's why he could be like, girl, show me your boobs and I'll tell you if they're good or not. Yeah. Does he say that? That's a sweet move, yeah. To get on Maybe the inside. the words came out weird. Just say David's gay and we're, we're in the clear. I, I, I seriously, like, I've been um, watching a lot of these, like, up and coming Chris Hansen type influencers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, so yeah. good. Chris Hansen's they're everywhere. Dude. And there's like yeah. kids doing it too. There's kids like, doing it. Yeah. There's like 13 year old boys like baiting themselves. They think it's really fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they bait themselves. The best, yeah. Probably. But yeah. without fail, every fucking pedo 
They're ugly as yeah. fuck, dude. Yeah. They look like ugly creatures. Yeah. Right. Yeah. None of them look like handsome yeah. good yeah. men. Yeah. Cancelable. They have subhuman features. They look like they just fucking <laughs> like fucking Crypt Keeper. They look like yeah. Herbert from Family Guy. They Not look like son. weird, dude. That's yeah. like a whole content genre, right? Like mm. yeah. Yeah, independent dog to bounty hunter yep. thing. Yeah. Predator catchers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But then, like, also, when you look at all the people getting caught for weird shit, you're like, man, you guys are ugly. <laughs> I think there, I think there's enough data to make a look. Yeah, you can there formulate is. a look. Yeah. <laughs> like, horribly groomed. Like, weird. Like, there's a they, you don't know if they're 50 or 12. You it's see, like, you can see the smell. Yeah. <laughs> they have poor yeah. vision. Yeah. They're always wearing glasses. They always have really yeah. thick glasses. There's, yeah. also, there's also a serial <laughs> killer stereotype look, yeah, which is why probably it. Ted Bundy was so, like, Unique, yeah. you know. Oh, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. There's like a pedos don't clean themselves up for their dates. You <laughs> no, know? Yeah, yeah. they don't. No. They don't look the best kept. No. They haven't showered in six days. They're like, yeah. they're not gonna give a fuck. Well, their ideal mate has low standards too. Yeah. So a lot of oil in their hair. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. geez. Bar always with the victim blaming. Have you, <laughs> have you ever been close to being canceled for any reason? Close to being canceled. Besides I think, I think maybe I said something about K-pop on Twitter and like, <laughs> oh, the stands yeah. and like yeah. the, the K-pop fan oh, yeah. fandom just went after that me. They're a strong know? fandom, man. I mean, I have a whole different stance on that too now. Like, K-pop's not my favorite genre, but I appreciate like the work that goes into it. But then back then, you know, I was a young underground rapper and I said something about the machine, you know, manufactured oh. or something. And then I think like the BTS fans and like the whole K-pop industry went crazy on me. So I was getting like, like a thousand tweets at me per like every 30 seconds or something. Wow. Whoa. And dude. at first I was like, you know. I feel like people know that now though. Even what you said back then, it's, it's not false. Well, I mean. They don't want to hear it though, I think. Yeah. Especially they the fans. Yeah, yeah because yeah. the whole idea of something that's very well put together, like if there's a whole team behind it, you want to make it look like it's effortless. You know, of like course, in the yeah. industry, like in the music sure. industry, right? Like there's manufactured artists, not just K-pop, but in just, you know, pop music. But you want it to look like this person was just discovered yep. off the fucking corner busking at yeah. Santa Monica Promenade. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. These eight perfect like looking Jesse people. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Industry. It could happen to you. It could yeah. happen to you. Right, right, yeah. It's yeah. a dream come true. They just worked really that's, hard. That's the thing. They're still all amazing, but I think even from then to now, everybody realizes that like fucking a hundred more groups were manufactured, yeah. you know what I mean? But that's every, still every fandom believes yeah. that the one they love is the exception. If yeah. you can see that, like every fandom yeah. is like, yeah, there are, but ours weren't. Ours are the only the ones. The JK ones. fans were not manufactured. <laughs> Dumb found it, you guys like his music? He manufactured himself. There's no K-pop, <laughs> there's none of that. You guys not have my up. mom and dad and everybody just working on my <laughs> <laughs> Just liking all your- <laughs> Your mom was making the beats and shit? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on, before we cut. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the description below, Korean History Channel, right now. And then, uh, and just make a note that Dumbfounded co-signed the creation of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah.